Here is the story of the Doni Tondo. The Doni Tondo is a painting in tempera on a wooden board in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, Italy. The painting is circular and is 120 centimetres or about 47 inches across. The subject matter is the Holy Family. Mary, Joseph and baby Jesus with John the Baptist and several other figures in the background. The artist was Michelangelo. This is a very unusual fact because he was a sculptor, not a painter, and when he did this work, he had not yet painted the famous Sistine Chapel ceiling. So how did he come to paint the Doni Tondo? Here is a portrait of a lady painted by Raphael, done around the time of her wedding in 1504. Her identity is known, and she really was a beastly person. Her name was Madalena, and she was the daughter of the wealthy Italian Strozzi family. She married an excessively handsome man called Agnolo Doni, He was the sort of man who was always staring at women's cleavages, but there was a good reason for this. They were generally right on his eye level. But he was rich, and he was even richer when he got his hands on Madalena's dowry. He ordered the up-and-coming artist, Raphael, to paint their wedding portraits. Raphael promised to do it in the style of Leonardo's Mona Lisa. But there was a slight difference between Lisa del Gioconda and Maddalena Strozzi Doni. Mrs. Gioconda, true to her name, joked around and told all her smuttiest stories to the artist while he was painting her. Leonardo managed to stretch the sittings out over four years and then never got around to painting the matching portrait of her husband. Raphael, on the other hand, could not coax the slightest glimmer of pleasantry out of Madalena. Basically, she had the personality of a 15th century Dolores Umbridge, and needless to say, she wasn't at all happy with what her portrait revealed about her. So when their wedding anniversary was coming around, she demanded another picture as a present. She didn't want Raphael to paint another portrait, not under any circumstance. So she nagged at her husband to get that sculptor chap who was working for that Rivera Pope Julius. Her husband, trying anything to keep her quiet and happy under any circumstance, broached the matter with Michelangelo over a glass of Montepulciano Rosso in a bar at Trastevere. Predictably, Michelangelo just looked at him and didn't even answer. Agnolo knew that he would hear about it when he returned to Florence. He mentioned a sum of money that the artist could hardly refuse. Michelangelo gave a grant and said, He would paint a tondo of the Holy Family. A tondo is a round painting. If he was going to do it at all, then it had to be a challenge, didn't it? So, he did it. And it sat there in his studio until Agnolo came to see it. And it was a very odd painting indeed. Agnolo wasn't at all sure Madalena would be happy, and he said so. He went home to speak to her about it. Now, in the meantime, news of Michelangelo's painting had circulated. He hadn't actually painted a picture on panel since he was an apprentice, so his doing so was an exciting event in the art world. By the time that Agnolo returned, Michelangelo had received several offers. He told Doni that the price had just doubled. Doni balked at that and went home to Madalena. She sent him straight back again with the money. Michelangelo said that the price had just increased by 500% of the second price, not the first. Agnolo said, no way, and went home. 
Madeleine nagged and whinged and whined and sulked, withheld marital relations and said, You promised me a Michelangelo for our anniversary present. What sort of husband are you? I'll tell my uncle and my brothers, my nephews and my godfather how you are treating me. He had no peace, day or night. And that is how Agnolo Doni came to pay Michelangelo more for the circular painting, 40 inches across, than the renowned master was paid for five years' work on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. At least, this is the way the story goes. <laughs>